Okay guys, here we have a very quick lesson on versions, patches, and service packs. This is all to do with software, okay? Versions, patches, and service packs, what they mean and how you can recognize them and what they're for. So let's get started. I'm going to just take you through versions first, and then we'll look at patches, and then we'll look at service packs. So it's just so that you guys know what this is all about. Right, so you get a piece of software. You get a cool application, and it comes out, and it's version 1. Version 1. The developers make some changes to the program and those changes means that it then gets re-released as version 1.1. Okay, so now we can see there's now 1.1. Then perhaps the developers do a couple of more changes, make a fix here and there, minor bits and pieces in the code, of course. Now it becomes version 1.2. Then they decide, okay, you know what, let's just add in a whole bunch of new features. We fixed up everything and let's add in some new features. That becomes version 2. So we've gone from version 1 all the way through to version 2. So version 2 will be a new version, whereas version 1.1, 1.2, they're still part of version 1. Okay, but just with like a couple of changes and fixes here and there. Versions sorted. Yes, yes. Let's look at the next one, patches. So, you have a piece of software, okay, a version 1. Then a patch is released. Now, a patch basically is just a whole bunch of various fixes, bug fixes. They've just noticed a few things in the program. Oh, when I say they, I mean the developers, okay, the developers. So, they noticed a few things in the program that needed fixes. They created a whole lot of fixes and some bug fixes, and that becomes a patch. Okay, so the patch is just a collection of all the little bug fixes, and then that becomes version 1.0.1. Okay, so that's, it's just a way of naming it. I'm not going to get into versioning, because that's not what we really do in CAT. But there you can get an idea of what a patch does. All right, various fixes and some bug fixes, bud, bud fix, <laughs> bug fixes. Okay, service packs, right. Now, service packs. We have version 1 of our program. Fantastic. Then the developers go and create an update, which consists of a collection of all the previous changes, all the fixes, the bug fixes, updates, patches, and improvements. So that is a whole collection. So a service pack is like an entire collection, and then that gets released, and it either could become a new version, okay, it depends on what, they, what the developers are doing, but normally you'd have version 1, apply the service pack, version 1, SP1, service pack 1. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Let's just go back to all of these just to double check. Okay, so there, I'll just have the versions up there. So there you can see version 1, some changes, version 1.1, couple more changes, version 1.2, some new features, not just minor changes, version 2. Patches, version 1, great. Then the developers go and do various bug fixes, various fixes, a whole lot of things all get collected together, and that becomes version 1.01. Okay, so that's... Don't focus here on the version numbers and the versions, okay, guys? Focus on what the a version is, what a patch is, and what a service pack is, okay? So, service packs... They're basically just an update. It's a collection of all the previous changes, all the previous fixes and bug fixes, updates, previous patches, and some improvements, and that then becomes a version with a SP service pack at the end. Okay, so there you go. Short and sweet. Versions, service packs, and patches. No, I'm going to say that in the right order. Versions, patches, service packs. There, that's better. 